Good evening, welcome to CBS Baltimore.com. We're still tracking Harvey. Tropical storm just southeast of Houston, actually the center. But look at all the rain still going on around Houston, still right around the Houston area. Moderate to heavy rain. Further east, a band of heavy showers and thunder shower activity rolling into portions of Louisiana and East Texas. And you have some heavy rain in New Orleans, and now that's moved off to the east. More bands south of New Orleans. This whole area is going to eventually begin to shift more to the east and northeast, but it's going to take a few more days because the storm is moving so, so, ever so slowly. You see it's only moving actually east-southeast, the center just going offshore. It could energize a little bit more. Right now the winds did get up to around 45 miles an hour. And then later on tonight into Wednesday, we're talking, look how slow it's moving. Winds Found to 35 as a depression by the time we get to Thursday afternoon. Friday, it's a remnant low. Still has rain with it up the cross portion of Arkansas, but the bulk of the rain should be ending in the Houston area sometime by Wednesday. <laughs> Let's hope. Meanwhile, along the East Coast, we have a possible tropical depression, maybe, although there's no circulation. We do have some winds near 40 miles an hour. All the tracking has it way offshore from the Maryland area, but it'll bring rough surf. And yeah, a definitely rough surf and windy conditions. There's a big dome of high pressure well north of us. The pressure gradient between this low in this kind of circulation and a high with this kind of circulation means winds out of the east. They're going to get quite gusty in the crack. We do have wind advisories in effect for portions of the eastern shore. Temperatures right now, we're down to 71, 59 in Oakland. It's going to be a cool and damp day tomorrow. Caused by this low pressure and a front to the west, we've got rain moving in from both areas. Actually, this is going to probably cause more rain along the eastern shore. We'll be on the western fringe of that rain, but also this rain to the west of us, this has nothing to do with Harvey, by the way. This is a frontal boundary to the west, so we don't expect to see anything right now out of Harvey, although it's possible it gets up into the maybe a southern portion of the Ohio Valley by the time we get to Thursday. Midnight tonight, we got some rain along the southeast coast. By late, late tonight, tomorrow morning, some rain moves in, mainly along the ocean beaches, as you see. It moves offshore quickly by the afternoon. We see a little bit of rain again, and then it clears the area as that low pressure moves away. And the next system, we clear out somewhat on Wednesday, warms up. Thursday, that frontal boundary approaching from the west, southwest, more shower activity. As you can see, maybe Thursday afternoon, some rain activity. Then it clears out. Looks like a nice start to the weekend at this point. Temperatures going to be kind of cool with that front going through. Friday's high only in the low 70s. So we got some fall conditions here. On the bay, some wall kept advisory for winds gust up to 30 knots. The bay temp still warm there at 81 degrees. Yeah. Overnight tonight, a bit of rain mainly late tonight, and most of it will be south and east of our region. 62 overnight, kind of cool and damp tomorrow, we bet. Bit of rain from time to time, 69 for a high tomorrow. That's it. That's like October 79 improvement with sunshine back on Wednesday. Could be a shower or a thunder shower on Wednesday on Thursday as the front comes through, but it warms up to about 85 degrees. Maybe the last time will be that warm for a while. 73 on Friday and sunshine back with a few clouds Saturday afternoon. So it looks like a good end of the week. Maybe it's the Labor Day weekend. We can salvage a good three or four days. Have an updated forecast late tonight.